about our tactile learners? Oh, we've all seen them after after anatomy lab on the exam. They're doing weird things like this. And they're going, oh, does that does that really belong over there? So uh, that was me. That was you. That was everyone. So, but it's good too. You know, what you touch is what you see is what you know. So, and to like act act stuff out too. It brings it to life almost. And for those who, who learn by that way, they find that, it's, that it really helps um, drive that content into a longer term you know, memory or storage. So mm -hmm. a lot of times if, you know, if you're sort of this tactile learner where you do a lot of moving and speaking, make, make sure you're not copy and paste. That's the biggest thing. If you copy and paste, you are a stenographer, not a learner. And neurocognitive research sort of uh, confirms this. To go back to the previous slide where we talk about writing instead of typing, that's why people who write their notes instead of typing their notes end up retaining more because it forces you to synthesize what it actually means because you can't write as fast as you can type. You can type word for word. You can't write word for word after a time. So make sure whatever you're doing, it's novel. The novelty of it is what is your brain grappling with the material, and that's where the actual learning comes from. So again, write out your flashcards. Write out your notes. I'm a big person that says, you know, have one piece of paper for your notes for an entire day, front and back. And if you're writing more than one piece of paper, start cutting stuff out. So... Um, and then watch out for, you know, spending too much time doing this again, like this could be more of a time intensive thing because it requires a lot of, you know, critical thinking and creativity and it's very powerful, but if you lean into it too heavily, you can get pretty tired at the same time. So when used correctly as part of a good study plan, it's very powerful. Pick your spots to use this sort of thing and you will learn a ton. And then find things that work well for it, like, like neuro, MSK, anatomy, stuff like that that lends itself easily to tactile uh, learning. Um, so watch out for you know, not getting through everything in the day because you're spending too much time doing this. Um, and then distractions too. The problem with being a tactile learner is you just want to touch everything else too. So eventually you'll, you'll veer off track and you, know, you got to stay disciplined and notice when you're sort of veering away from your primary objective. So, and then our pro tips for this one, checklists are great. They sort of tell you what you need to get done, what is not done for the day. Make sure to write a realistic checklist. You're not gonna, you're not gonna do an entire chapter of first aid, 120 year old questions, and your Anki all in like eight hours. Not gonna happen. So make sure you write yourself a study plan. I always tell students write study plans with the assumption that they're going to be 70% effective or efficient that day, because when you write it for 100%, you're inevitably gonna fall off and then you have to play catch up and it's impossible. So give yourself more leeway than you think you'll need and you may need it. And if you don't, you'll be slightly ahead. And then I think we're pounding this one nicely into the ground. So take all the breaks. So I like to tell my students to split their days up into thirds and a morning session, an afternoon session, an evening session. And normally those sessions decrease in hours. So like the first session is three hours. The second session is two and a half hours. The third session is two hours so that as your day goes on, your sessions get shorter because your brain space sort of starts to shrink over time. You look forward to those sec second and third sessions because they're not as long. So I really make, like that. I'm going to use you. that. <laughs> make make it easy for your brain is one of my yeah. favorite things. So. Yeah, I feel like I do that naturally anyway, but actually like saying it out loud, it, it makes perfect sense. And it also, it, you would look forward to it, right? You'd yeah, three, you want to. You three hours are done. If you eat your peas and carrots first, you'll be very happy when cake is coming. <laughs> eat the cake first. How excited are you for the peas and carrots? <laughs>